no. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for watching today's episode of Racks and Recoil. Today we're coming at you with an even more different video than we normally do. We've been thinking about of some kind of shooting video to do for a couple weeks. Been browsing Amazon to see what kind of different things we could shoot and we finally came up with it. So today we present you 150,000 Orbeez and we're going to see if Orbeez are bulletproof. Oh yeah, you dropped him, son. So if you don't know what Orbeez are, they're pretty much these little tiny beads when you get them in the package and you soak them in water and then they expand as to what you can see about right here. They're pretty much all water-filled beads. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it than that. But we're gonna be putting it to the test to see what calibers will or will not go through it. I think we're gonna start with 22, we're gonna go to nine mil. We're gonna try 45, 57 by 28 out of the P90. Then we're gonna go to 300 blackout, 556, 308. And then if it somehow makes it through all that, we're gonna try 300 wind mag. So just so you guys know, I'm gonna make a little side bet with you. There's not exactly 150,000 Orbeez in here, but the first person that can guess the number of Orbeez in this tub, I'll Venmo you 20 bucks. And I'll give you a little hint, it's between 140 and 150,000. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to check out SafeVest, the first company to sell level 3A body armor for $279, and you can get your own vest at safevest.org. Also, for all my southern Indiana and Kentucky people, if you own a business, some kind of commercial business, and you need countertops or cabinets done, check out M&M Casework. Well, they're getting the lid on, and we're going to throw some ear pro and eye protection on. We have nothing else ready to do, so we're going to quit messing around. We're going to get straight to it. So what he's doing right now is putting duct tape on the front and the back pretty much just to make it easier to see the entrance and the exit if there is one. And because when the bullets impact this plastic, it might crack and leak all the Orbeez, so we're trying to prevent that in the meantime. I'm actually really curious about this experiment. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and finally got my hands on 150,000 Orbeez. So first we're gonna start off with 22. I don't think it'll be any issues stopping this. If that went through. <laughs> Entrance right there. And on the back, no exit, just like we thought. 22, we knew it was gonna stop 22. We're gonna try nine next, but uh, this might be a short video. So pretty much we all had predictions about what caliber is gonna go through it. I say it'll stop 300 blackout and then 556 will go through it. I think 5.7 will go straight through that. 5.7 will go through it. I'm going to go with 5.56. I guess we'll find out. Uh, what do you guys think? So we shot it with the 9mm and we forgot to hit record on the slow-mo camera. So we're going to redo it and we decided to take the lid off just because we thought it would be cool to watch the Orbeez kind of like pop up. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and go through all the calibers and then we'll show the results towards the end once we fire all the calibers. We're gonna shoot this with a uh, Chris Vector 45 caliber. Let's do it. Next, we're gonna try 57 by 28 out of the P90. I don't like I don't have a weak stomach for some reason touching this jellied Orbeez is dis <laughs> it's disgusting. It's crystallized. Oh that's so gross. No, oh I don't I'm uncomfortable with the way this feels. <laughs> Alright, now up next we're gonna do a 300 blackout. Oh, I hit 
way too high. <laughs> oh no. Right, so 556, five, just two hundred clients. I have no idea what he just said. But we don't even know this guy, he just showed up and he just kind of, oh god. <laughs> Alright. So just to show you some results first, we were actually kind of surprised. So this is 9 mil, this is 5.7, this is 5.56, 45, 22, that was our botched 300, and then that's our good 300. So if you come follow me on the back side, you can see what went through. Obviously there's our 300. So 9 mil and 45 went through, and that was, we shot another 9 mil because we didn't get it on video, so that's why the second round's in there. The only round that have went through so far are the pistol calibers. 9mm and 45 are the only rounds to go through. 22 has stopped, um, 300 blackout stopped, 5.7 stopped. And I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me because why would the pistol calibers go all the way through but rifle calibers not? And I mean, it's not really a matter of us using hollow points versus full metal jacket because we're staying consistent. So, but uh, next we're gonna try what's 308's next? Yep. Let's try 308. All right, next up, we got 308. <laughs> After Mason shot the 308, here's your entrance, perfectly center, and on the back, I still don't understand, but no exit, it did not go through. We still have the regular 45 and the two 9mm holes. It's like a reverse level 3 body armor. Like, it stops the rifles, but not the pistols. <laughs> Alright, so final test of the day. It has pretty much stopped everything except for 9mm and 45, to my surprise. Um, I didn't think we were going to make it this far. Pretty sure we were all wrong. So, final test 200 grain, 300 wind mag. If this stops, then I'm going to start building my house out of Orbeez. And we're gonna get a little up close and personal on this one because we wanna get wet. Have balls flying everywhere. There's another word for that, but we're not gonna talk about it. Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> Alright, so that was the final test. Are you recording? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was the final test. 300 wind pack right in the center. You can see all the plastic messed up. And did it go through? No, it didn't. I don't know what to say. Like, it doesn't ballistically make sense to me how everything goes through, or sorry, that nothing goes through except for nine millimeter and 45, but it stops a 300 wind mag. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. And I mean, we're using hollow points on everything, so it's not like we're using full metal jacket on. Oh, oh is that the 300? It was on top, I don't know what it is. I don't know which one this is, it's gotta be. It's a nine. No. 945? Check that out. Nine, 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 is, yeah, I think this is 9mm uh, the hollow. It's pretty cool. Wow. This is uh, I'm going to assume that's probably the 300, but I'm not sure. It's either the 300 or the 300 blackout. It's a, definitely a 30 caliber. But that's uh, I don't know. Like That just blows my mind. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Alright, so we are honestly stunned by this. We don't know how it stops a 300 wind mag. So we're gonna run 9 mil and 45 back through it again with hollow points to see if something like changed. Because if you notice earlier in the video, it like jellied up when the bullets entered. So we're gonna try it and see if it stops this time. See if anything changed. And you know, we gotta have that MP5 slap. No idea where it hit. Not sure which hole. I think it's that one. Might be wrong. It didn't go through. It didn't go through. Nope. And yeah, so something is changing in there because it did not go through. Interesting. Sorry guys, I cannot give you an explanation on that because I have no idea what's going on. I just know it stopped it and I'm about to build a house out of these. So this is going to be 45 full metal jackets. Don't have any hollows. But we'll see if it gets stopped or not. I 
see it go through. Actually, yeah, I see him falling out the back. It went through. Yeah. Yo, oh, God, yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, oh, it went Lord. through. It definitely went through. So here's the... Egg so do you oh. think the pistol cartridges went through because they're a bigger projectile? No, I, right now I'm thinking it's because of uh, full metal jacket versus hollow point difference. So hollow point 9 did go through, but full metal jacket 45 did, so... But the full metal jacket 308 got stopped. It wasn't was full metal jacket? Mm -hmm. Your 308 was full metal jacket? Mm -hmm. I don't know, then. I have no idea. I can't answer that, but look, did you get that on camera? The way, like... The way the Orbeez are like changing, I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. But that's weird. It's like mush. It's like jelly. It's honestly disgusting. It's it's honestly probably because of the fact that it's jellying up and it's sticking together. It might be a factor, the fact that it's probably getting stopped. But I don't think that it would even matter because it's still the same type of consistency. Or not really consistency, but the same type of material that it's made out of. Yeah, so, so I, I don't understand why it would be getting stopped if it's jellying. Because it's not AK. <laughs> That's the only thing that the, this Russian guy can speak is AK and communism. <laughs> well, guys, you guys saw the results with us here at the same time that we saw them. Uh, pretty much the only thing that went through was the initial 9mm that we shot, and the 45 went through at the beginning and the end. So it stopped everything else up, to including 308 and 300 wind mag. So I really have no explanation for why it happened, like the things that happened, why it happened, I have no idea. Uh, expecting it to stop a three a 200 grain 300 wind mag 308 i wasn't expecting it to stop any of that so if you guessed it was going to stop 300 wind mag congrats to you because we were all wrong but that's all we have for today guys thanks for watching this video i appreciate it if you want to see something similar to this let us know don't forget about that bet guess down in the comments and we'll see you on the next episode thanks for watching racks and recoil